with now having this, I guess you can say, you know, revamped or new edition, whatever you want to call it, and we have the original, it posed the question, at least to me, and of course, this is solely my opinion of which was better, which was the better Digimon? Was it the 1999 version or was it the 2020 version? So in this video, I'll be talking about which, in my opinion, is the best. And this is actually something that's a little overdue at this point that I wanted to discuss maybe about a week, week or two ago from me recording this. And I do apologize for anyone that was actually looking forward to this video. But again, this is solely my opinions, but I would love to know y'all's opinions. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And make sure to subscribe, like, and all the good jazz to support the channel. But let's get into it. So let's start off with the 1999 version. Obviously, difference in animation. I'm not even going to compare that because we know that both of them were at different times. Obviously, we know what, you know, obviously you can go with nostalgic if you want. But clearly, I would say that the better animation was the newer one. But that's always going to be up for debate. Design choices, you know, I have no problem with them. I... I like the consistency that they had in the in both of them, so that's also not something I'm going to compare. But as far as one of the biggest things that I liked about the 1999 version, and I'm going to talk about them first, is that they had very cool moments where the evolutions were special. That was one of the things that I really liked. The evolutions were special. They were... Uh, one of the ones that I remember the most is when we had Patamon digivolving into Angemon for the first time and defeating Devimon. Obviously, he had, he goes as well, but that was a very special moment. And that was actually something that I, as a child, thought it was really cool. You know, it was epic. You know, everyone had lost hope and he was the one to basically bring it back to them and save the world. Well, save the day. And we also get to see a few other things. You know, we see... The development of the characters you know one of the things that i enjoyed was we see how like with matt which was something that was very important to me matt is basically the equal to ty but we see with matt in the original he was going through some stuff you know he was having obviously he was the emo sasuke kind of character but so what you know he was going through some emotions and that was something that was really cool and i really thought that was awesome and Obviously, it got worked out, and we had more threats, you know. That was, that was one of the things that I enjoyed with this one. There was a lot more threats in the series as a whole, and some good villains. You know, I actually enjoyed the villains in this one. And the music, obviously, I watched it in in dub as a, as a kid, obviously. And then I watched it in sub a little bit later. You know, the voices were a little cringy, but so what? The music was great with, with both. I had no problem with either one. I really enjoyed it. But I can't really say any more else than that. And there was a 54 episode count in total, which was nice. But now I turn over to what I like about the... Because I'm not going to talk about the negatives, really. I'm not going to talk about the negatives here. What I liked about the, the original... I mean, the, excuse me, the uh, 2020 version is that we had 67 episodes, which was more. You know that that helps out too but we also see the incorporation of the you know a villain or a specific villain i guess you can say of with anjamon and devimon which i talked about you know the good points with the previous one in the original but now with this one we actually see that you know they're it was always incorporated bringing that villain back because it was important his name was even mentioned several times because devimon was a threat it was a very important threat you know the villains weren't as many but you know we see that the the level of danger was a little bit more uh, yes they didn't get to go back to you know i guess you could say back home as much uh, but it was something that I liked. You know, they focused more on the digital world. There was trouble in the 
real world, but they always try to keep it to a minimal. And they did save the world a couple times. So that was actually something that I thought was really good. Um, the characters had a little more of a, a backbone. They didn't get as much, uh, you know, screen time, but the characters were very, you know, courageous. That was something that I think that we see a lot better of with these characters. TK wasn't as whiny, which was something I thought was good. Uh, Kari was always, you know, kind of a kind of a mystery bag, even in the original. But I feel like she was more involved. You know, Gatoman was very important. You know, and we see, you know, these evolutions as well. You know, from the Digimon Adventure Try. If you hadn't watched those, then that was something a big component that was part of throughout this series. And um, you know, therefore, it's important to watch these movies as well. I enjoyed them. I definitely recommend for those that haven't go watch them. But one of the things that I guess you can say was different also with the characters here is they really made Ty a leader. You know, at moments, yes, he was overdone, but they really made him a leader. While in the original, it was kind of a shared moment or shared leadership with Matt and whatnot. I mean, it wasn't as noticeable where here everyone relied on Ty and of course they relied on each other so that was really important but now after I analyze all these things and again this is just my opinion if I was to come down to which one do I prefer personally I'm gonna go with the original I just love the original I've always been more of an original fan nothing against the 2020 version but just the original was better in my opinion but let me know what your else opinions are i'd love to know them let me know in the comment section below i'd love to know but guys that is it for me this wraps up digimon completely for the channel for now but as always stay safe and i'll catch you later